the first singer of season 10 to get unmasked is... That's exciting. Rubber Ducky. The new season of The Masked Singer has kicked off ducking strong. On Wednesday, the season 10 premiere of Fox's hit singing competition introduced five new celebrities in crazy costumes, including Cow, Gazelle, Rubber Ducky, S'more, and Diver. But unfortunately, Rubber Ducky received the least number of votes after singing, so the judges had to guess who it was. And the celeb started off strong with some great clues. Hey there. The name's Rubber Ducky, ready to splash on the stage. Here's how my story goes. Movies and TV shows, I'm used to being the rage. Oh yeah, life started out pretty humble. Came up from nothing to fame. Nice to see you all. Tried stand-up comedy, learned it wasn't for me. But now, I'm a household name. He starred with Leo, he's friends with Leo. I can say that I've made my way solitarily. Great crowd tonight. Let's get it. Oh, no, no, no. Behind everything I do is my family. You know it. So now that you see, here we go. A little more about me. Bring it home, gentlemen. Come on. I'll quack my way to the finale. Hey, rubber dub dub. Judges Jenny McCarthy, Robin Thicke, Nicole Scherzinger, and Ken Jong all made some pretty good guesses after the secret celebrity sang Dexie's Midnight Runners and Kevin Rowland's 80s hit, Come On Arlene. Talk to the rubber ducky. I dare say this is the most fun performance of the night. I love everything about this. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Amazing job. It's time for a clue, right? Men in Black, bring it out. Clue me in. What does that say? Wait, what's that say? What is it? Oh. The, the duckies. duckies. Ooh, with the, the duckies. signatures. My family is full of stars. Check out the headshot. I'm definitely getting a comedic vibe from this guy, you know, and I'm thinking famous families. Yeah. And this guy's known for being in, in very famous horror movies like Scream. What if this is David Arquette, famous brother of oh, Patricia that's a Arquette? Great guess. That's not bad. That's not bad. Okay. I can see David good. doing something like this. Yeah. But what about the Waynes brothers? Ooh. Okay, now you're talking. Famous family. But they're like two of the most celebrated, legendary stand-up comedians of all time. Yeah. This person said he did stand-up comedy, didn't like it. So right now, I'm thinking Anthony Anderson. And I'll tell you why. Because Anthony Anderson is not known for stand-up, but he's one of the best comedic actors around. I think that's there a good guess. There is something right. that is all screaming right. Anthony Anderson. I think all of our guesses are a wash. I'm not listening. Great job, Anthony. <laughs> yeah. Once Rubber Ducky was on the chopping block at the very end, the judges got one more chance to guess, and one of them was correct. But first, panel, who do you think is hiding under this duck mask? You know what? I'll go first. Because I think there is no more funny family than the Waynes. Let me tell you, Marlon Waynes, the VHS horror tape for all the scary movies he was in along with myself. I love that. Right? I love Good that, guess. Jenny. Okay, now you're talking. We think of famous families, the Scream franchise. I think this might be David Arquette. Let me go with that. Okay. Wow. Well, still, that doesn't explain one of the clues who starred with Leonardo DiCaprio. I don't know, this gentleman starred with Leo DiCaprio in the Oscar-winning picture, The Departed. He's from a famous family on Blackish. This is Anthony Anderson. Ken, that's actually a really good guess. But I'm thinking of another famous family from TV, from Family Matters. I think this could be the one and only Steve Urkel, Jaleel White. Wow. I'm going for it. All right, panel. Let's see if any of you are correct. Oh, my, oh God. my God. 
Come on, make me lucky, Ducky. Audience, say it with me. Take it off. Take it off. Oh my God, I'm masking. Take it off. 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 Who is it? Award-winning and Emmy-nominated actor. Superstar Anthony Anderson. That kid awesome. was right. That is right. Good job, Ken. Ken got it right. My man, Ken. My man. My man. Come on, baby. Oh, my God. <laughs> Ken, you finally got something right, baby. It's a season 10 miracle. <laughs> I love you so much. You know how much I love you. I and love you too, brother. You know you that. Do, you're all about fun. You make me laugh so hard. Everything about you just screams and fun. And you're a classy, funny, yeah. amazing guy. Thank you, Jenny. Yes. Thank you. Incredible. Yes, you are. We love you. This has to probably be up there on the most bizarre things you've ever done. I, I would have to say it is the most bizarre thing <laughs> I've ever done. Uh, I'm naked up under this, uh, these bubbles right here right now. <laughs> Don't let the tights below the knees fool you. <laughs> Ken was shocked and excited for guessing correctly on Anthony Anderson being the rubber ducky. But he hasn't always been right. Axes Hollywood's Mario Lopez and Kid Hoover chatted with the 54-year-old actor back in June. And he made fun of himself for his past terrible Masked Singer guesses. Let's talk about the uh, season finale of The Masked Singer. Yeah. You, you're, you were a little off, my man. And some of the guesses right here. How dare you? <laughs> I'm a doctor. I was in the hangover. I know. And now, uh, my, and now you... Slater's saying I'm stupid? <laughs> How dare you? Well, wow. you ended up, you, you guessed Susan Boyle. Wow. Uh, I it, thought it was Susan I mean, Boyle. That's legitimate. That was legitimate. It was a legit guess. I guessed it four weeks in a row. <laughs> a lot of booze hurt my feelings. At some point, it should wow. be Susan Boyle, right? It, it, you think mani I was manifesting. Right. <laughs> For sure. I had, I dreamed a dream. It was Susan Boyle. I you like know. when you went Robert De Niro as the gnome. I'm like, come on, Ken. <laughs> Let's be I right. I mean, no, I mean, that's an amazing guy. How dare you? Not the that. greatest actor in the greatest costume of all time, totally. the gnome. It you had. talking to him? Yes, I was. It was Robert De Niro. Your guesses have gone viral, though, for being incorrect, which is awesome. What? <laughs> yes, they have. What is this, 60 the, minutes there's later? A, I mean, is this a hatchet shot? I'm here from the after party. I'm grilling you, talking about my kids. I'm a family. I'm a doctor. And now, whoa. I'm breaking out the scalp. Whoa. You know, there's a poll online uh, ranking uh, Ken's worst guesses. Uh, what's your strategy when guessing behind the mask? Because well, I know you usually think you're right. Well, I, you know, well, I, well, <laughs> wow, those are, <laughs> Ten, Ken's really, worst guesses. I, really, uh, I, I, I honestly, I'm, I'm, I, I don't remember some of these guesses. Yes, I do. Yes, yes. Austin Butler as the doll. Austin that was Butler. Great one. I thought it was Austin Could Butler. Have the I, 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 he had these. He had these moves. He had these. I really thought it was Austin <laughs> Butler. I really thought Rebecca Romaine was a UFO. I really. <laughs> Think these things, and that's why in my mind I'm undefeated on the mass singer. Look it up in my I mind. Look enough. it up on my wiki, which I edited <laughs> myself. Okay. Mm -hmm.